Thanks for joining us here at 4 o'clock. We begin with a tragic story. The murder of a seven-year-old girl has rocked communities in both Texas and here in Oklahoma. The Wise County Sheriff down in Texas says little Athena Strand's body was found last night in the woods miles away from her father and her stepmother's home. News 9's Dan Hurt Nikki with a story. Today, students and staff at Comanche Elementary School are wearing pink in remembrance of Athena Strand, a former student at the school who is expected to return to class today. Police say Athena was in Texas visiting her dad and stepmother when the unthinkable happened. Well, your heart just kind of shakes up. It's been an emotional few days for Athena's family and former pastor, Charles Pugh. Your heart goes out to the parents because it's just so random it seems like that uh, that it happened that way he was there with athena's mom stepmom and dad when wise county sheriffs told them they found athena dead not far from their home last night it hurts our hearts to know that that child died this community does not like losing our children and and we could see it because of all the people who came out and helped us throughout this ordeal. Deputies say the stepmother reported Athena missing on Wednesday and that she left the house by herself. Right now, 31-year-old Tanner Homer, a contracted driver for FedEx, is inside the Wise County Jail after confessing to abducting Athena. He is being held on capital murder and aggravated kidnapping charges. His bond is set at $1.5 million. Meanwhile, those who knew and loved Athena are honoring her with a vigil. That is planned for tomorrow night at the First Baptist Church in Cottondale. Here in Oklahoma, Comanche Elementary says they have school counselors available for everyone impacted by this tragedy. In the studio, Dana Hurtnicki, Oklahoma's own News 9.